now that you are introduced to what animal husbandry is all about you have an idea what is the aim of anyone who is into this particular field okay now main aim of animal husbandry is increasing the produce okay whether it is animal produce whether it is milk produce whatever produce that we are dealing with the production is to be increased and when we talk about the animal produce the animal has to be of a good breed it needs to belong to a good breed so that the animal produce is superior and it is better and it is in uh, plenty of amount so the topic that we have now to study is about animal breeding inside animal breeding we are going to talk about in breeding we are going to talk about out breeding and we are going to talk about cross breeding all these come under animal breeding and all these aim at improving the breed qualities right the breed is to be improved it is for breed improvisation now what is a breed first of all you need to know that what is a breed of an animal breed refers to those animals or i would rather rephrase it and say that all the animals belong to a similar breed if they have their ancestors common but from 4 to 6 generations if the animals which are under consideration they have common ancestors between 4 to 6 generations then they belong to a same breed so simplest example is the breed of dogs that you have you have many breeds around you if you go out take a stroll you would find many dogs many breeds labrador pooch pugs rottweilers what not there are so many breeds but why they are a breed because they have common ancestor for 4 to 6 generations that makes a breed okay the animals belonging to such generations form a breed now we aim at improving the breeds okay we improve the breeds by various methods supposedly you have a superior cow and you have a superior bull in a dairy farm so you're going to inbreed them they belong to same breed that means the 4 to 6 they are going to have same ancestors they are belonging to same breed then we call it inbreeding when the male and female which are being bred they belong to same breed that means if we go to their generation we go back to four or six generations they'll have same ancestors but the offsprings would be different of course so those offsprings when they are bred in between that is known as inbreeding okay now this inbreeding is beneficially if the superior male and female are taken into consideration but with time what happens is that if the same breed animals are being bred time and again it leads to inbreeding depression now what is this inbreeding depression here i would ask you to take your memory back to the genetics where we said that more and more pure line crosses lead to homozygosity now what is homozygosity homozygosity that means for expression of a gene we have homozygous locus now when homozygosity comes because of continuous inbreeding there are many chances that the recessive diseases or recessive problems that are hidden otherwise they come into the scenario the recessive alleles could express themselves okay when homozygosity comes more and more homozygosity comes recessive alleles could express themselves and you know mutations are usually recessive so which mutations whichever mutations were hidden because of homozygosity over time they could also show and that would lead to heterosis no heterosis that would lead to inbreeding depression 
in breeding depression is decline in the good characteristics because of homozygosity arising when the animals are bred within the same breed. Now how to overcome this in breeding depression? The method is heterosis. Now what is heterosis? If homozygosity is coming into the scenario, bring heterozygosity. Now how heterozygosity would be brought about? When the inbreeding would be replaced by outbreeding okay four to six generations will not have common ancestors in uh, instead the animal which is being bred the female belongs to some other breed male belongs to another breed in the previous case both belonged to breed a similar for example now it is going to be different female would belong to x breed while the male would belong to a breed that is known as outcrossing and outcrossing brings back heterosis now heterosis is responsible for restoring hybrid vigor okay now outbreeding type is cross breeding that you took another breed and crossed the individuals which restored hybrid vigor which was responsible for hetero carrying out heterosis in breeding depression declined and Apart from cross breeding where same species but different breeds are crossed, we have another cross that is type of outbreeding only that is interspecific crossing. Here it is not breeding, it is interspecific crossing where we take into account organisms or male and female which belong entirely to different species like supposedly the female is a horse and the male would be a donkey. So we are going to get hini. If donkey is the male and female is horse we are going to get the mule. So we have the example of sterile interspecific crossing okay they are often sterile individuals we have the example of liger lion and tiger we have the example of mule these are interspecific crossings so you get an idea in animal breeding we have two main aspects one is inbreeding and one is outbreeding under outbreeding we have cross breeding and interspecific crossing and this entire process is aimed at again improving the quality of the organisms in order to increase the produce. Okay? That is all you have to understand in animal breeding.